We got a couple tidbits here for you on hole sizing and augers. A lot of the guys on the circuit now are running cordless drills. Uh, we've gone more currently to the brushless models, uh, the lithium ion battery packs. Uh, depends pretty much on what you're gonna need to do for the day. We go out a lot of times all day and the more holes we can get in, the better off we are. So we'll run the bigger battery, battery packs. Uh, we'll run as small an auger as we can get away with. Uh, a lot of guys are used to running an eight inch hole with a gas auger, that's been typical for years. With what we're doing, we do a lot more camera work. Uh, typically we're fishing panfish, so we don't always need the bigger hole. But we found through the course of time that we can get away with uh, a lot smaller holes than a guy would think. We've gone to four inch holes for looking. Uh, normal bluegill fishing will be fine in a four inch hole anytime. That's uh, options uh, with steel shafted, steel flighting bits and synthetic in the four. We've uh, obviously been favoring laser too. It's, uh, it seems to be a smoother cut, but so with the bluegills, that's gonna be a four inch auger. Sometimes a giant bluegill, you're gonna want that five. Rarely will you ever need a six. Crappies is more of our determining factor on any given tournament that we get into. Uh, if you got fish under a pound, maybe a top end of a pound fish, you might just be okay in a four inch hole even. But in that case, if we're pushing a pound, we'll probably slide into a five inch hole and run that for the day. The whole theory behind it is that we're gonna to wanna to get as many holes as possible and we don't wanna cut any more ice than we have to. And when you're drilling, there's enough torque on your hands the way it is, you don't want any more than you need. And so we've got, we'll run fours for the smaller fish, fives if you got a little bit better fish. Uh, this being the national championship, they've got us on some pretty good water. And we're actually looking at crappies that could top out at a pound and a half, possibly even more. That's where we start running a six inch bit and I've done both the synthetic flighted laser and the steel. And with the foot of ice that we have here, the synthetic bit is, is fine. And it saves a little bit of weight. At the end of the day, I don't know if you can really notice. It's just uh, kind of something I tried out. And uh, so we'll be running sixes here for the big crappies. I, I do carry an eight inch hand auger with, but uh, it's mainly for sight fishing. It's not, not for trying to get a bigger fish out of the hole. Uh, you sure can if you want to set up tip-ups and got a chance of getting big walleyes or pike, you can run a bigger hole. That's where this, this uh, two-handled mud mixer from Milwaukee comes in. That's been a champ, got a lot of torque, just a pile of it uh, for running the bigger holes. I got it hooked up on a six, and it, it's just easier on the body than the, than the handheld drill. We run these a lot just because it's easier operation, but you really have to, you got to brace it in or you, you run a risk of, twisting the wrist. So that's a, a quick run through of what we do for sizing and why.